Hello everybody, this is Mark at KnifeGloves.com. I want to put up a video of my new Part 2 glove. It's called the Avenger. I call it that just to reference the Freddy's Revenge uh, movie. It's based on the Part 2 film, Look. It's made from the same templates as my Resurrection glove. Um, this glove comes in two different styles. You can uh, Everything is the same except you can ch choose which kind of blades you want. These blades on this glove are the 16 gauge regular stainless steel blades. They have artificial bevels on the top edge. They're weathered. They're scratched. Um, they're originally mir perfectly mirrored but I weather them up. Uh, I also blunt off the tips. Hopefully that's focusing but uh, blunt off the tips of the, the blades. That's how they were in the second film. Um, still with the index blade bend. does have a simulated break on both sides. Uh, this pinky blade has an inward curve. That's a small feature I can't do on my resurrection glove is that inward curve because the blades are made from tempered steel um, and I can't get the tempered steel to stay bent, unlike the stainless. So, little perk, but it's a minor detail. Back plate, different weathering, but it's asymmetrically bent. It's the exact same template as the Resurrection Glove back plate. Same with the fingers. Fingers have additional weathering, specifically around the rivets. You can see the black markings around the rivet areas. Um, different size rivet on the middle finger and the pinky. And also on the index, there's a larger rivet there. And also the other side, larger rivet there. So, um, let's see what else is different on this thing. Uh, replicated solder spill patterns, the index, middle ring and pinky. Um, reddish tinting on the fingertips. It's got red tinting and ringlets same. The squared ringlet one up, up at an angle and the pinky one down at a slight angle here. Uh, now, this glove appeared in many different formats, or styles, should I say, in the second film. Some shots it shows, excuse me, so some shots show all the original ringlets attached. And specifically in the promo shots, and some scenes in the movie, they have actually cut off some of the ringlets. Um, for, my, for my glove, I'm going to just keep it uh, intact unless requested. For example, at one point the ball and the string was ripped off. Uh, not completely, just like from here. It was just a small piece of the string that you could see, but the ball was gone. Um, the ringlets were complete, the bottom ringlets were completely gone at one point. And, but I'll leave them all, everything intact, uh, unless you request. This cell, this one sells for $200. A lot of work goes into it, especially with all the little details. Oh, on, speaking of details, uh, there's also a little hole in the ring finger on both sides at the fingertip piece. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it. Uh, finger stalls weathered naturally. That's natural coloring. I don't use any chemicals to get that brown coloring. Same with the back plate. I don't use any chemicals for that. It's all natural coloring. Leather glove cut up like it is in the, in the first film, the Resurrection Glove. Uh, and fits really well. Moves just like my other gloves. Um, this is how it looks when I wear a glove with my little pattern where you fold the leather and then pull the leather up above the buckle. It gives that that look as it's supposed to. The back plate's supposed to lift up. So 
thought I would show it off, explain some of the details, some of the changes to it. And again, this one sells for 200. You can upgrade to resurrection style blades. They will be like this because this is a part two glove. Um, unless specified. If you want the blades perfectly mirrored like they are on the resurrection glove, by the way, which might be changing, um, I'll do it how you want, but standard, if you get the more expensive blades put on the glove, they will be like this. They'll be weathered, they'll be beat up, they'll have the real bevel, it'll have a real blade break, and it will be soldered at a slight inward angle, and the tips of the, of the blades will be blunted, just shaved off. I don't know if that was due to usage, or if Robert just kept stabbing himself, and other people, or just a safety precaution. Uh, not sure what the reason was, but that's ultimately how it wound up. So that's why I replicated the way I do. So, there's the glove. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, and love to answer any questions you may have. And, by the way, as of this filming, which is January 4th, 2011, this glove is for sale on my website right now. So, first one to click buy it now gets it. Take care.